The car arrives in this box and if we take a look up here we can see that it's waterproof. I haven't been able to test this because the weather have been really good the last couple of days. Uh, but I should mention that I have been driving the car for almost a week and it still runs beautifully. Uh, but like I said, I have not run it through water, so I can't say for sure if it's truly waterproof or just water resistant, uh, but I will definitely test it. The next box tells us that it operates on 2.4 GHz, and that's great because it gives us a good range. I have never lost the signal, and uh, I believe the website states that uh, the control distance is over 100 meters, so I highly doubt that you will ever lose connection. I have not measured the top speed, but if I were to guess I would say it's probably slightly slower than 50 km an hour. However, it's fast enough if that makes sense. I can see this car being great for beginners, but later when you do want the extra speed and acceleration, it's there. Like it's not lacking power. It's a 112 scale. I don't have too much to say about the size of the car, uh, but here is the exact dimensions. It is a 4x4 car, uh, meaning all four wheels are spinning, uh, which is great for rock climbing or going up steep hills. So I thought it would be interesting to see what it looks like on the inside, so I removed some of the plastic covers. And it looks like they integrated the speed controller and uh, the receiver into one unit. It's a good sized motor and um, the soldering looks uh, just fine. If we take a look under the hood we will see the two shock absorbers. Uh, we also have the servo down there and what appears to be a payload that could be to counteract the weight of the motor. Uh, anyway, let me put all this together and uh, take it out for a spin. The battery just ran out and I would estimate this to be a 3 km distance uh, which gave me a uh, driving time of uh, 16 minutes and 24 seconds uh, and I want to emphasize that this was a pure 3 km run. I didn't stop to adjust the cameras or anything, uh, I simply drove this car for 3 km uh, and again 16 minutes that's, uh, that's actually pretty good.